On Sunday, Israel fired a missile into Syria from the Golan Heights. Uh, Israel says that it was, quote, a warning shot to Syria because a stray mortar had struck one of their outposts. Or they say it struck their outposts, but they also say it didn't damage it. But now the Israeli mil uh, military says that the mortar did strike at least the area where the outpost was. Well, that didn't cause any deaths and it didn't do any damage. I'd just like to point out that the Golan Heights is an area that Israel stole from Syria in the 1967 uh, Mideast War. Now, the, an IDF Army spokesman, Lieutenant Colonel Avito Leibovich, did speak on the incident. A short while ago, a mortar shell targeted an IDF Israeli Defense Force post in the Golan Heights. We answered with a warning shot towards Syrian areas. We understand that this was a mistake and was not meant to target Israel, and that is why we fired a warning shot in retaliation. It's interesting to note that while they say it was a mistake, they also then said it was deliberately done. They said that it was targeted at an Israeli defense force, but then they said it was a mistake. Well, which is it? It's kind of like a double standard. They know that they could still portray Syria at the same time while giving the appearance of having been uh, giving them a break and saying it was an accident. Now, Israel said that they have filed a complaint to the proper re uh, international regulatory body the, for these kinds of matters, uh, filing a complaint that the mortar did hit one of their outposts. Meanwhile, they murdered six Palestinians last week. And those deaths will probably never be reported. Now, Israel said that they fired the shot into Syria, into Syrian territory, as a warning. And like I said, it's kind of really weird the way that they said that. They kind of say it like it was done deliberately, and then they also say it was, it was done accidentally. Now, uh, Israel said that further shots into their territory from Syria will not be tolerated. And it's questionable whether or not this is actually happening. Now, the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu uh, of Israel said that he was closely monitoring the border and waiting for any developments to occur, which is, you know, a very diplomatic way of saying if anything else comes flying into our territory, we're going to kill you. And we're basically waiting for the slightest opportunity in which to jump into the war ourselves. Now, which is also this, I mean, a probable reason why this might have happened, if it did, I mean, I'm taking it on face value that it actually did happen, is that Syria is sending weapons to the FSA terrorists in Syria. Uh, they are also very likely sheltering those same terrorists in the Golan Heights area. So of course a stray shell is going to you know, land near where they're coming in and out. And whether or not it hits Israel and whether or not you agree with that is a completely different situation. But I do notice, however, the uh, <coughs> bit of hypocrisy here. Because remember how the Viet Cong were coming in and out of Cambodia? and that they were off limits and the US said uh, they're not a target, you're not allowed to hit it and then commenced a gigantic bombing campaign that absolutely devastated the country, caused an untold amount of damage killed millions of people and then blamed those deaths on Pol Pot I'm not saying Pol Pot didn't kill anybody, I'm saying Americans killed millions of people in Cambodia through those bombings uh, bombing uh, farms, uh, small villages, displacing tons of huge amounts of the population, although some in the comments are just going to claim I just defended Pol Pot when I don't. But, I mean, it is it tried a terrible double standard in this situation. It's like the the, the same old thing. Uh, it's, it's just it's just complete BS. I mean, Israel is just itching to get involved in this war. They're just looking for the slightest excuse, the slightest provocation as to why they could possibly jump in and get themselves involved in this situation. Because Syria is one of the last few republics left in the Middle East that is not under their control and under the control of the United States.